Hi, I am Julie Trombley, Certified Entreport Expert, and I am here to interview Kathy Guggenauer, the founder of Virtual Expert Training. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Thank you for being here and interviewing me today. Absolutely. I'm not sure whose idea it was for me to interview you, but we're going to have fun. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, want to start out with finding out like, what made you get started helping people to become well-paid virtual experts. And, and before we dive into that question, perhaps we should start by talking about what a virtual expert is. Julie, yes, that is usually the question. What is a virtual expert? Well, a virtual expert is a well-paid virtual assistant, freelancer, or independent contractor. Anything on that level can be considered a virtual expert. And I trademarked the term virtual expert and developed the success system for helping freelancers and virtual assistants become well-paid virtual experts because I was tired. I was tired of being taken advantage of. I was tired of, and you know, I'm going to use a term that maybe is really old school now, but look at me, I'm old school, right? I was tired of the man. You know, the corporations, the business owners, the entrepreneurs, not paying freelancers and virtual assistants what they're worth. So, Julie, have you ever experienced and not being paid what you're worth? Oh, absolutely. In corporate and, and probably even when I first started my business, honestly, um, so going through the program certainly helped me get to the point where I'm now getting paid what I'm worth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am on a mission to get people paid well, to get people paid what they're worth. You know, I worked for one of the largest Fortune 500 companies in the world. And if you just name a couple of the top five, you could probably guess which one it is. And I was there for almost 20 years and I had stopped getting promoted. And back then I wasn't even wearing tiaras or pajamas, which under this I have pajamas on, to, by the way, <laughs> trying to look good here, but I just put a jacket on. After 20 years of working for that company, they told me I'd never get promoted again because I laughed and smiled too much. So after some deep soul searching, I quit. I was 40 years old at the time. Everyone told me I was insane, but I knew I had more to offer. And I bet you know that too. And I started my own VA business, which I quickly grew to six figures and beyond. And back then, nobody thought a VA could earn that much. So I looked around and I saw all the other employees who were being undervalued, just like I had been. And it's not only corporations, as Julie mentioned, who undervaluing people. It's also business owners and entrepreneurs undervaluing and underpaying you as a freelancer or VA. You know, those business owners and entrepreneurs, you know the ones I'm talking about, they charge a lot for their services. And that's okay because they're worth it. But they are unwilling to pay brilliant freelancers and VAs what they're worth. And by the way, those entrepreneurs and business owners, they can earn even more if they didn't have that scarcity mindset about paying freelancers what their true value is. I know for sure that the virtual experts who have gone through my success system can help business owners grow faster and easier and pay for themselves 10 times over and more. And how do I know this? Well, because they've helped me grow my business to seven figures and beyond, and they've helped many others do the same. So I created my virtual expert success system to do two things. One, teach you freelancers and VAs how to become well-paid 
So you can create wealth for yourself. And two, I wanted to let the world know about virtual experts, how fabulous they are, and that they deserve to be paid well. They deserve to create their own wealth while help others build wealth. In other words, I chose to be on team wealth rather than team scarcity. So how about you, Julie? Which team are you on? Hmm. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> team wealth. <laughs> so in full disclosure, Julie and I have known each other for several years, and I have watched in awe her growth. And I know she didn't brag on herself, but I'm going to brag on her for a minute here. She went from not even quite sure what a virtual expert was, like you may be watching this, to hmm, earning a lot of money. I'm not going to give away the exact number, but it is well paid. Would you agree that you are now well paid? Absolutely. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So Julie, did that answer that question? Yes. Yes. And and okay. thank you for cool. explaining that a little bit more, you know, so everybody knows what we're talking about when we're talking about the virtual experts. I'm proud to be one. And, you know, I tell people about the program all the time, you know, just people who are just kind of VAs out there on their own, just trying to figure it out. I mean, you don't know what you don't know. And I wouldn't have had a clue yes. how to start my business from the ground up without going through this training. So, so thank you. <laughs> That's exactly right. You don't know what you don't know. Right. Because I've had people say to me, well, I can do this on my own. All I have to do is Google it. And I'm like, how can you Google something you don't even know to Google? Right. And the valuable resources that you have on top of just the training, you know, it's, the mindset, the the masterclass, everything that's involved with the training that helps you to grow your business. And and I love too the fact that you don't have to have a degree. You don't have to have any special training. You just, I mean, you know, I was in the corporate for a lot of years. You could just take that information that you've learned all those years and you can start a business doing something that you love doing. <laughs> You can transition from corporate to your own business, earn as much or more, but it's not as easy as a lot of people think to make that transition. I mean, I had the delusion, and I I mean that in every respect, I had the delusion that because I was good at what I did in the corporate world, I could easily build a business. No, your skills transfer, but I had never been taught how to build a business, how to find, get, and keep clients. Right, right. Yeah, I wouldn't have had a clue how to do any of those kind of things. So yes, very, very thankful for you and all the coaches to help me get to where I'm at, you know, as we're talking about all this. So what is the process you use to help somebody go from a low paid, inconsistent pay to being a well-paid, you know, virtual expert consistently? So I'm going to ask you a question first, Julie. Did you know that the average USA-based freelancer or VA earns only $10,000 annually? And in my opinion, that's not enough to live on. No. What do you think, Julie? Is that enough to live on? Absolutely not. <laughs> Unless yeah. you've got a sugar daddy, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think you and I are in a similar position where we're kind of the sugar mamas, right? (laughs) I'm okay with that. (laughs) Me too. I would much prefer to be the sugar mama than than need a sugar daddy, quite honestly. Yeah. So, Julie, what do you think is that magic number that most VAs and freelancers want to earn in order to feel comfortable? Not wealthy, but comfortable. Just your opinion. Um... I would probably say maybe 50 to 75,000. That's exactly right. That is exactly what I hear. Um, I've been doing this since 2008, training others how to start their own business. And most people are like, if I could earn 5,000 a month, I would be happy. And then what I find is after they've earned 5,000 a month, guess what? They're like, oh, 
I can earn even more. And I'm like, yes, you can. Let's go. So, yeah, that's exactly right. That's what most people are looking to earn. Minimal, not 10,000. So my process provides you with everything you need to get high paying clients who need your services, not a one off and not even just after month, but month after year. My average length of time that I had a client when I was a virtual expert was seven years. That's average. There are literally clients that I referred to others in our program who are still working with them. And I had started working with them in 2001. So once you find a great client who loves working with you and you love working with them, you don't have to find another one. Well, <laughs> you need to find about three, four, five, depending on how many, how much money you want to make. But you don't have to find tons of those. Julie, you had mentioned something else that a lot of people are really alone out there trying to do this. Well, here in our process, we hold your hand and guide you. And we provide all the tools, templates, scripts, contracts, you name it. If you need something to build your virtual expert business, our system provides it. Yep. Your website, everything you need on your website. I mean, just everything. Everything was there. And it was, and it's a great resource and to have access to it all the time. I've been doing this for, let's see, three and a half years now. And I still go into the trainings. Like, Where's this? What was that again? You know, so. Yeah, it's a very valuable resource, even when you've been doing this for a little bit. Hey, Julie, here's the not so secret secret in our in our community. I I do the same thing and I created the whole thing. (laughs) That's how much there is in there. Yeah, I can't keep it all in my head. I have to go look it up myself. And just to have the community too, that's there to help you, to support each other. You know, again, going back to not doing this by yourself, that you could, there is a community of virtual experts that if you don't know how to do something, I'm sure somebody in the group can help you or whatever, you know, give you the right resources, anything. I mean, the, the community has been amazing as well as the training. Somebody in our group, and I can't remember who said it, and Julie, maybe it was you, but I just heard this this week. They said, if you can, (laughs) it was something like, I dare you, I bet you cannot find another community as good as this one. And I mean, I would, I wouldn't take that bet because I agree. This is, Mm -hmm. this is something very special. It is, it is. And we get so close and have our own little inside jokes and secrets and you know we just have fun it's a it's a great group it's a it's a fun group to be part of i I mean mean, look at our tiaras (laughs) we become the rulers of our own kingdom that's right and we get to wear whatever we want sweatpants yoga pants pjs i'm a pj girl (laughs) and you don't have to wear a tiara but i'm going to tell you right now i I have more fun. I feel happier when I'm wearing a tiara. So that's why I wear one. (laughs) Wear that tiara and laugh all you want. (laughs) I laugh all the way to the bank. There there you go. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Um, You often talk about creating success on your own terms. And what does that mean to you? And what holds people back from doing that? So. Once I left the corporate world and I really started thinking about what I wanted, because you might be surprised by this, but I hadn't really thought about what I wanted. And I think a lot of other people like you do the same thing. You know, you're taught by the world, by culture, by the media, by schools, by your family, by corporations, that in order to be successful in life, you have to go to work for corporation. And they never ask you, what does success mean to you? What do you want out of life? So once I left that corporate environment, 
all of a sudden the world was brighter and open to me. And I wanted to create success on my terms, how I wanted to live. So for example, I like extremes. So I live in a tiny house in the middle of a national forest. It takes me an hour to get to the closest grocery store. Now I will tell you, most of my friends said I was crazy. I wouldn't make it out here. I would hate it. And I love it. I moved here the same year I started my business because running a virtual business is the only way I could live here. Mm -hmm. And after just a short period of time, I was able to, and I think, I don't know if this is the way most people talk about this, but in our group, we talk about, I was able to retire my husband. So my husband retired because like we talked about before, Julie, I'm the sugar mama here. (laughs) So that was creating success on my terms. So creating success on your own terms means you get to choose who your clients are, what your hours are, where you work, and that can change regularly, Mm -hmm. what you do for clients, how much you earn, and on and on. You know, a lady who I was talking with today, her name's Ashley, she said, you know, I have the ideal job. Almost nobody would have a job like mine. It's so amazing. I get to work from home. I'm paid about Average, and by that, I, I'm pretty sure she means uh, 55-ish thousand a year. She didn't tell me exactly, but that, that was the uh, feeling I got based on other conversation. And she said, but I can't meet with you because I can't, and I can't go see my friends, and I can't go to a coffee shop or work somewhere else because while I get to work from home, I have to work from home. Had you ever heard of that, Julie? That was the first I'd heard of that. Wow. No. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's crazy. And she doesn't work for a law firm or a financial company or anything like that. That would have to be so private. It's Hmm. simply what your employer tells you you have to do when you're an employee, right? You don't get to create success on your own terms. They don't care what you want. In fact, (laughs) I don't know if this is still happening. And Julie, you left corporate world more recently than me. So I'd love to hear if this ever happened to you. But if I let the corporation know what I really wanted, oh, they made sure I never got that. Did you ever have that feeling? Um, Yeah, in a way that I kind of got looked over for a promotion that I would have had more than enough experience to take that on this role. And I was looked over for the promotion and it was just, that was kind of the straw. There were straws that were, broken, <laughs> but that was the straw <laughs> that, that, mm-hmm. that made me be like, yep, yep. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So before you met me, mm-hmm. did anybody ever ask you, Julie, what success meant to you? No. Yeah, nobody ever asked me either. And, you know, I had loved ones and friends and husbands and, you know, people who loved me. But that's just not how our society operates. They don't ask us what we want. But in our program, that is top priority. What do you really want? And we know you're capable of whatever it is, whether it's working part time and earning 30,000 a year or working full-time and earning multiple six figures and on and up and everything in between living, working in your house. I do like to work in my house, Mm -hmm. working at at Panera's, working in Dubai, right? Traveling from place to place. Whatever you want is possible when you have your own business. I'm taking an impromptu trip to Florida next week. And I will take my laptop and I will be able to work while I'm there. I'm fortunate enough that I have an office at my home and I have an office area in my cabin up north. I love it. And I I, I did want to touch back on the whole, did anybody in corporate ever ask what you, you know, what success meant to you? No, because yeah. the success was of the company, of who you worked for, of 
the CEO, not of anybody who was doing the actual work to make the success. But, you know, that's where the success focus was on on what you were going to be able to contribute to make that corporation succeed, not what you did. That is such a great point. That is <laughs> that is exactly the point. Yeah. yeah. They didn't ask you because they didn't care. They didn't care because you were just there to help them earn wealth. So I think we're ready to move on to the next question. Okay. What do you find that holds people back? What else is holding people back? Yeah. So what holds people back from number one, starting their own business or asking themselves what success really means to them and then taking action on it, right? What holds them back from once they do start their business, actually creating wealth, the number one enemy of wealth is delay, delay, procrastination. Napoleon Hill says successful people make decisions quickly. Unsuccessful people make decisions very slowly. And interestingly, they change their decisions often and quickly. So it takes them forever to make the first decision. And then they're, oh, I know this. Oh, no, this. Oh, no, this. And I like to say it like this. Procrastinate to assassinate your wealth estate. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know about you, but I'm building a wealth estate. I'm building wealth now since I have my own business. Oh, Julie, how about you? Are you an action taker? I I know the answer to this because I watch you take action all the time. But I want to see if you self-identify as an action taker. I do now. I will tell you that, you know, I would say in the beginning, there was a bit of the procrastinator and maybe a little bit of the, I'm not sure if I could do this, but I had enough coaches believing in me. Like you always say, I will believe in you until you believe in you. I, I have that. My mouse pad is sitting here that says that. And I'm reminding of it, <laughs> I'm reminded of it all the time. And it's true. You do. You and all the coaches, you do. You believe in us until we believe in ourselves. And I believe in myself. And I am very much now an action taker. <laughs> you really are. I mean, you're a massive action taker. And <laughs> you take so much action. And I am an action taker, too. I mean, in fact, I can drive people crazy with the amount of action I take. Uh, but you put me to shame almost. You take so much action and get so much done that I watch you in awe. So congratulations on making that shift. Well, thank you. I, and I didn't do it alone. I, Like I said, I, it was your coaches that helped me get there. <laughs> So if you're listening to this, I want you to think, am I an action taker? And if you feel like you aren't right now, like you're one of those people that takes forever to make a decision, or if it's a big decision like, oh, spending money or going somewhere, leaving your house, (laughs) taking a trip, I want you to start saying to yourself out loud, I am an action taker. I am an action taker. Because guess what happens with your mind when you do that? Your unconscious, subconscious brain believes it. No matter what you tell your unconscious, subconscious brain, it believes you. So if you say, oh, I always procrastinate, your brain is going to help you procrastinate. And if you say instead, I am an action taker, I am an action taker, your brain is going to help you take action. So. If you're listening to this, I want you to say to yourself right now, I am an action taker. You can even write it down to remind yourself, I am an action taker. So congratulations on becoming an action taker. Write it down, put it on the mirror, see it every day. (laughs) Scream it to the world. (laughs) Or the cats, whoever will listen. you know, all this is great information and, and how you are helping everybody. So how can people find out more? Yeah. So for the past several years, I've held a live conference 
exclusively for virtual professionals like freelancers, virtual assistants, independent contractors, fractional C-levels, people of all titles and levels. And I will tell you that I asked myself this question in the beginning and now others who know how much work a conference entails ask, why? Why do you do this? And the reason is because I want to show you exactly how to create success on your own terms and create wealth, true wealth for you and your families. You know, Julie already touched on this a little bit, but I want to dive in further. Our school systems didn't teach us how to be wealthy. The media, it doesn't tell you how. And for sure, our corporations didn't want us to know how to be wealthy because then we'd go out and become wealthy on our own and we wouldn't be there helping them get wealthy. And that's why you're not wealthy, not because you don't have the skill, not because you don't have the ability, it's because you never learned how. And that all stops now and here. At our live conference, we teach you how to have a millionaire mindset and how to earn as much money as you want and live the lifestyle you want. And we can only teach you if you take action now. Let's get specific about what you'll gain by attending our virtual expert live conference. You discover how to take fast action. You hear us talking about action a lot. I promise you the reason Julie want, went from being a bit of a procrastinator to an amazing action taker is because we talk about this and teach this all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to discover how to take fast action to create wealth for yourself and leave a legacy of wealth for your loved ones. I don't know about you, but that's what I want to leave. I want people to know they were loved by me. I want people to know that I helped them create the success that they wanted. And I want to leave wealth for my loved ones. You know, the other thing that you'll do at this event is you'll learn how to love yourself. Perhaps for the first time ever. The enemy, those people I was talking about before, our school system, the media, corporations, they have robbed you of your self worth. Corporations and media earn more when they keep you scared. Yeah, think about that. They've robbed you of decades of wealth creation. They've robbed you of opportunity. You were just a cog in the system and you're going to continue to be that unless you take action. At our live conference, we're going to reveal everything the system, not my system, but the system, the man has hidden from you. Yeah, hidden. <laughs> exactly how to create wealth, exactly how to have a wealth mindset, exactly how to take decisive, fast action. And when you attend our live conference, you discover how to earn consistent monthly income, working part-time or full-time as a virtual expert. And you get our four essentials to success. One, proven step-by-step -step training so you know exactly what to do and exactly how to do it. And you'll be taking action. You'll be learning and actually implementing these things right there at the conference. Step two, coaching. So you get the personalized support, feedback, and confidence boosts needed to achieve your dreams. Three, a tight-knit community so you never feel alone or lonely as you climb the mountain to success. because. Everyone, no matter how successful they are, will tell you it is lonely at the top without a community. And especially a community who understands what you're going through. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, if you go talk to just about anybody you know and tell them you're considering becoming a virtual expert 
or that you already are a virtual assistant or a fractional C-level, they're not going to know what you're talking about. I have been in this industry since 2001 and my husband still really doesn't understand because he is not in this with me. Julie's in this with me. She understands. And finally, the fourth thing, the tools to create a millionaire mindset fast. So Julie, you've been to our live conferences and I know you got a lot out of them because you invited your husband, Arnie, to the last one that we did. And could you share, I mean, do you really get all of that out of those live conferences? Oh, absolutely. That and, and probably more. I mean, it's just, again, the community that is being built during that. I mean, you get the community online, but to be able to see this community in person, you know, when we were at the last live event, that was my first one. And it was like, oh my God, you're real and you're hugging people. And it was just, it just <laughs> reinforced your connection that you already had with them online. And just to be able to get that time to talk to some of the other virtual experts to see what they do and how you could support them and how they could support you. And, you know, I, I would say a fifth thing is networking and, and being able to, you know, support each other, you know, because I may have somebody that comes to me that doesn't use Entrepreneur, but hey, do you know somebody who knows how to use Active Campaign or, or something else? I now know people in the community that I can refer them to. So it's, yeah. So yeah. I gave you, and you know them personally <laughs> and you get to right. know them even better at the live event. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to add that fifth one. That's a great fifth one. Thank you so much for that. You know, one of the things that I've noticed by going to all the live events that, that I have gone to, because I invest in live events myself, I know how powerful they are and attending ours at our live events, even before the sessions start, like everybody gets in on a Thursday night and we all get together and have a welcome party. Even there, connections are being made. People are saying, oh, I need to hire you or, oh, I know somebody who needs to hire you. And then as the days go on, it's three days. We have speakers. We will be having seven speakers. And last year, Every speaker hired at least one person at the event. I don't know if you knew that, Julie. Every speaker. That's awesome. Hired at least one person. And some of them hired more than one because they met them there, saw how amazing they were. And can I say that some of the speakers that were there the first day, they were only planning on being there the first day. They stuck around for the second and third day because they just enjoyed the energy and everything that was happening at that conference that they all wanted to be there the whole time. Yeah, I know. I, I had never seen that happen before. Every speaker came up to me and said, this was the most amazing event because I learned from the other speakers. Your audience is so friendly and welcoming and they pay attention. They're not all on their phones. They all told me these days, everybody's just on their phone, not paying attention. Not ours. We're dancing. <laughs> Literally a asking questions, running around. What You know, we've got people running around with a mic so you can ask a question. It's just very high energy. Yep. In fact, everybody, I will tell you that I was so impressed with Julie and her husband, Arnie, who actually came to the training every day, participated. I was so impressed by them and so moved by something that Arnie shared with us on stage, just real short little thing, but it was so powerful that I said to Arnie right then, I want you to be on stage next year. You're going to be on my stage next year. And we are making that dream come true, not only for Arnie, but also for Julie, because they have agreed the duo, the dynamic duo, Arnie and Julie Trombley will be our MCs for this event. Whoop, whoop. I, honestly, Julie, if I wasn't already going because I host it, I, I would run to buy a ticket 
for no other reason than to watch you and Arnie and see this thing. It's going to be, I'll bet I could sell it to Netflix as a comedy show. Wait, wait, wait. There's got to be one stipulation. That's only if you're tap dancing too. Oh, I am totally tap dancing. Yes, you guys, you may think, oh my goodness. I didn't know she was a trained tap dancer. Uh, No, I've never taken a tap dancing class in my life. I just love being on stage so much and in my dreams. Who has dreams? Uh, you know, like being naked, forgetting you had a test. Those are kind of dreams I have. And tap dancing on stage. I always see myself in my dreams tap dancing on stage. So I did it. I tap dance on the stage. It was really, really bad. And mainly it was the arm movements. <laughs> but but it was I promised fun everybody. <laughs> yeah, I promised everybody if they would come the next year that I would... I haven't started taking any lessons or anything yet. It's almost time for the event, but I, I will, I will watch some tap dancing to see if I can get a little bit better. <laughs> I'm going to tap dance no matter what. Though. Right. So in addition to all this stuff we learn, we have tons of fun. Um, we give away lots of prizes and primarily you get more support than we can even describe here. And your business will grow. Your business will boom. Everyone says, oh my gosh, I am on fire now. I'm going to go back and take massive action. Did you hear that a lot, Julie? Oh, yeah. And did I do that? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I do it too. I get back. We're going to go. Usually on the next event. (laughs) 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 And that reminds me of one thing I need to say. This event that we're talking about right here that you can click and go sign up right now for until we run out of tickets, of course, this event is the only one we will be holding this year. And there are no other freelancer virtual assistant specific. And that's what you want to attend if that's what you want to do, because all those other events You can learn things specifically like skills, like Julie went to a live event because you know the value of live events. You went Mm -hmm. to an Entreport live event. Yes, I did. Yep. Did you get a lot of value out of that? Yes, so much value. I will be going to two events every year, the Virtual Experts and Entrepalooza. (laughs) And you know what? That's a brilliant way to do that because seriously, live events and... You guys probably think watching this that I am very outgoing. I am, but I don't like to leave my house. I COVID, while I was so sad that people were dying, I was so happy that I had to stay home. In your pajamas. In my pajamas, yeah. (laughs) So the thought of going to a live event before I finally went to my first live event, which was five years into my business, oh, terrified me. And I'm not going. It terrified me. I promise you that at this event, at our event, what percentage would you say of people that are at the event are self-proclaimed introverts? Oh, at least half, if not more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I would I would dare to say 80% or more. Other than Eva Harster and me, I don't know of anybody else in our group who has said I'm an extrovert. Are you, do you consider yourself an extrovert, Julie? Oh, okay, good, good, good. You definitely, I mean, I would guess you are, but I can't tell you the number of people who say they are not, that they feel like an introvert. And that's all that matters, right? Is how I feel. That's why I say self-identified. I am a self-identified extreme extrovert. That's why I do things like tap dancing on stage, even when I'm terrible at it. (laughs) So Julie, what have I forgotten? Because it's really Um, hard for people to leave their house. It's really hard for people to invest in themselves. And I want to help them. I want to help them take action. It is so worth the investment in yourself. More of in yourself even than your business. But definitely in both. It, it, you know, so you're getting two for one. Investment in yourself and investment in your business. And the ability to make new friends that can help you along on your journey. It's priceless to me. I think it's priceless. I agree. It's priceless. And one thing that that a lot of people don't think about, and I'm going to preface this by saying I am not a lawyer or a CPA, but my accountant told me that going to events like this, I can write off all my taxes, you know, 
the the ticket price which we kept very reasonable the hotel oh my gosh you guys you cannot go to a hotel as inexpensively as we have gotten this for you people have tried they have tried to get a better deal somewhere and they can't uh your travel and by the way the food unless you want to go out to eat (laughs) <laughs> the hotel we have this in every year we always have it at a Drury Inn they provide a hot breakfast popcorn and soda at about three all the way through to dinner they call it a uh, kickback mm-hmm. and that's a hot dinner every day and at the event um, the ticket price includes lunch so unless you want to go out to eat and the rooms, they all have microwaves and refrigerators and all of those things. So that if you want a, a quick meal, a quick snack in your room, then you've got all that. I, I know for me, um, in the morning, it takes me forever to get ready for these things because I'm really nervous and I want to look good for all of you. Um, and so I don't really want to like do all that and before I go down to eat. So I'll just do breakfast in my room most days. And then once I stop being so nervous after I'm there for a couple of days, I'm not nervous anymore. I'm just tired. <laughs> and why are there in your tired, pajamas? Tired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I do go down and oh my gosh, I love their oatmeal. I love um, before I became uh whole food plant-based. Oh my gosh. I loved their, uh, They've got like salsa and cheese and eggs and stuff like that. And I would make, and I would make all this concoction like a um, breakfast taco. They got a waffle station. They got, I mean, oh, yeah. all kinds of juices and yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Remember in Dallas, the waffle maker was the shape of Texas. Yes. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see what shape they've got the waffles in this year. <laughs> well, talking about this year, where are we going this year? Yeah, so it's really special. Uh, it is Orlando, Florida. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, that looks fabulous. Keep that on. You got to keep that. Okay. Keep that on. And I'm going to actually change my background and sh- show everybody where this is being held this year. So I'm going to move out of the way. I'm going to do a van. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hotel and the pool. Look at that. Right. This is a brand new Disney hotel resort in Orlando, Florida, and it is walking distance from Disney Springs. And there's everything that a Disney hotel resort has, the shuttles to Disney and all of that. And so a lot of people are bringing their kids so that they can do Disney events before or after. I'm bringing my husband. You're bringing your husband. Of course, he's working for his living there. (laughs) (laughs) And and working at all. And I'm the other thing that I love about Durian. So they're very dog friendly. So I'm bringing my little tiny little four pound Bella. Ooh. Pomeranian Chihuahua. Yeah, you'll get to meet Bella in person if you want to. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you, I have been to Disney Springs area and it is beautiful there. It is so much fun. There's so much to do in Disney Springs. I mean, so even if you're not, I mean, because face it, not everybody is a Disney person. So, you know, they might not want to go to Disney World, but Disney Springs is so much fun. So much fun. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> so they've got, if I understand correctly, they have restaurants and bars and like oh, shops. shops. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, well, last time I was there. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, last time I was there, there was a cart there. They were selling tiaras. So have your tiara money <gasps> ready. Uh, yes. No. Oh, my God. It's going to be a fun event, a great location. And I just got to say, how are you going to outdo this one next year? <laughs> yeah. But, and, and Nick, I don't know. I, we can't, I, I don't think we can top this. We're just going to have to top the location. We're just going to have to top everything else. Cause that's my goal every year. And I will guarantee you last year was the best event that I've ever been to. And that's the feedback I got from everybody else. And this year's 
guarantee you is going to be even better because I know the speakers we've got coming in. And, and quite honestly, I'm lucky because the word has gotten out what a great event this is and speakers are willing to travel for this, mm -hmm. which is just fabulous. So we've got some really exciting speakers. We've got a PR media person um, who uh, wrote the article. She she writes for um, Forbes and several other magazines, and she wrote an article about me. That's how I met her. She's going to be there. We're going to learn about PR and other types of marketing from her. And, and Elaine, the PR lady, she's in um, New York. So we've got someone that's going to talk about how to get clients through email marketing, the latest and greatest on that, because a lot has changed with email marketing. We've got somebody coming to talk about Go High Level, which is another software platform like Entreport. Um, a lot harder than Entreport is what I hear. But this is why this lady's coming to talk about it, is to fill us in on <laughs> how much money there is to be made when a system is that complex, right? Because just like keep, the more difficult the system is to use, the more you need a brilliant virtual expert. <laughs> um, and even if you, if it, it isn't complex, <laughs> so <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. I couldn't figure it out because <laughs> I don't know tech and I don't want to know tech. That is not my thing. Um, I have never been techie. I have run a very successful online business, a virtual assistant business, virtual expert business, a membership site, and this program uh, since 2001. And I know how to turn my computer on and off and get on Zoom. And that's about it. <laughs> Otherwise, I have virtual experts to run my business. Um, so there's more skills that we're going to be working on um, with that. And then we're going to also work on mindset, specifically, there's going to be a lot of mindset work, but specifically money mindset, because if you don't have a wealth mindset, not only will you not be able to make to earn wealth, but you won't be able to help your clients earn wealth and your clients might even not even know about you because you might be hiding out in a self-imposed witness protection program. It's the fast action takers who succeed. I am a fast action taker and I invite you to be the same right now. I am personally inviting you to my fifth annual virtual expert live conference in Orlando, April 21st through 23rd. I am committing to serve you, the virtual professional, the support professionals of the world at this event. I want to leave a legacy, and that legacy is you. Successful virtual professional who loves what you do because you earn a great income and work with people you love to work with. I want to show you how easy it is to find, get, and keep high-paying clients when you learn the insider secrets from the experts that I have curated eight different experts, and I am one of them who will be at this event. They've already achieved what you want to achieve. Why is that important? Because what one woman can do, another can do. But only when you learn from that woman or man, yes, we'll have a few men there too, who have actually done it done exactly what it is that you want to do. You can create a full-time income working part-time hours. You can create a six to seven figure income working four days a week, building a team for leverage. You can work from home or wherever your heart desires and working with the people who value you. Now, you could decide to give into your fears, fears of traveling, fears of spending time away from your family, fears of meeting new people that you don't know, fears of spending the money and the investment really, really be worth it. I hear this all the time. And what will giving into those fears get you? I promise you, I know exactly what it will get you because I have given into those fears in the past. And what did it give me? 
And what will it give you? The same thing you already have. Is that what you want? More of the same? I don't. Are you ready to transform your life, transform your business, transform your destiny, transform your legacy? If you are, join me because that's what will happen at the Virtual Expert Live Conference, April 21st through 23rd. And not only is that transformation going to happen, but it's going to be fun and easy when you take fast action. So take that action now. Either scan this QR code right here that's on the screen or click the link in the comments so you can get all the details and register now. Take that fast action. Say along with me. I am a fast action taker. I am a fast action taker. Yes, I am. I'll see you in Orlando.